That's some music. <laughs> this is how I got playing Mario with aesthetic. No points, no money. Here we go. We're past a midpoint now. Like, the game is getting just generally harder. I just landed on that dog. I didn't mean to. That dog just did not exist on that point in time. And then he did. Everyone dancing. So, hey, how's it going? Mario. So, hopefully today I can do, like, this, like, this World 5 is special because it has two maps. And I'm hoping to do the first map today. Um... I tend to just kind of roll over the last part of this level because it just gives you a star and then you can just go like, I got a star, like, inside these boxes. I don't think I've ever played this part here without star. Uh oh, and here you're making it special, huh? Okay, I can jump over this like that, but then you're here and I can't spin jump. This part here looks like it would actually be kind of hard. <laughs> Conviction. That dog, man. Not this guy. If I just do this early? Yeah, no. So, I can't do that. I can't do that jump blindly. Necessary yet. So, like, do you pursue me or do you... Do you just got, like, your little area? No, you just have your little area. So... I can time this then. You're very, very stressful. And then you land right on me. <laughs> commit violence if it was pointless. Right, timing should be good here. I think he just despawned, which good for me. Yeah, keep despawning, plants. Oh my gosh, you'll never move from there, won't you? So, world five. Just never enter world five if you're passing. This guy makes it impossible. Like, there's no way to get him out of there. He's just there. He won't move. That's it. I don't think you can despawn an enemy that does not move naturally. So, there you go. World 5 automatic bust. Because I know that you can get whistles. You know, like, we know that. It's just this is a don't bother kind of place. So, normally I take this upper path, but without being... Oh, you can deal with, my, with these turtles by not dealing with them. See, in the NES version of this game, here you end up with this, like, crystal place where the sky is, like, this blue sky, and the texture is, like, the snowy, crystal-y texture. I feel like All-Star actually makes this level worse, because it makes it a lot less interesting. You're just always in the cave forever. There's also a lower path with water and, like, just an army of bust around it. You know, if I'm gonna take a path, I'm gonna take the upper path. 1,000% of the time. No question about it. Everyone tip and taps and tickles the tummy. Pick a box, you will eat it all the honey. I got a tail with an extra coat of fur. We gotta go for the pipe. I can't believe it. Whoa, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I just say check it out a lot. So, this is... Uh, public favorite in terms of level because it's the one level with caribou shoes which alas i'm not gonna be able to use because unless you don't get points if you bob them i guess it's worth trying you don't get points when you bob them well okay i mean i still can't jump on the spinies can you like jump off <laughs> I don't think you can jump out of the shoe. I thought maybe that'll give me like a Yoshi jump equivalent, but no, that's not a thing. Huh. Yeah, so, I mean, it's fun. I'm like real cozy looking in this little, little booty, but considering I can't crush enemies underneath my weight, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's not as fun as it should be. I mean, it gives me the ability to survive jumping on a muncher. That's exciting. And it made this a bit more st stressful than it needed to, that's fun. Alright, well, uh, you know what, I don't care if the spiny's fall to death. 
As long as I'm not the one that crushed them, it's all good. I made this a little bit easier, I guess. There we go. Boot justified! I find it fascinating that you don't get a point for knocking a Goomba out of the booty. Like, I wonder... Like, is that something they thought about? Is it just, like, an accident? I have no idea. I have... No reasons to have any idea. I do not know how this game was programmed. Just, I don't know if the boot's gonna give me points. It did not! It did not! It, it just kind of vaporized. The threads uh, were of really low quality and just fell into pieces. Let's do a fortress. I have no reasons to be... At some point... At some point, I'm gonna have choice between split paths and... If a level is impossible within my context, like, I have no qualms with just ignoring it. So, like, I'm just setting the seed early so that there's no surprise when it's gonna happen, but yeah, like... I have no issues with skipping a level entirely. It just hasn't happened yet. Man, I have, like, never played this fortress when I was a kid. I, like, you know, in my mind was, well, I have a choice between a cool level with a boot, with a sock, or this, like, weird kind of hard fortress. Like, it's not that hard. But at the time, I thought it was kind of hard, and I was like, why? The choice is so obvious. Who would play this level? It doesn't make any sense. Only a fool would play this fortress, and here we are now, in 2020. A fool and his question mark ball, all covered in honey. That's that's that perfectly valid idiom. Well, what does this accomplish is that I can minimize the amount of violence upon these soldiers here. Because if I defeat just one, and boy howdy, they're being really nice with the pattern here. It's just like, hey, forget and forget, you're small, so you just break your head. So by only, like, I can, I, I destroyed one guy, that's fine, that's not, okay, I'll just let him kill me, it's fine, and then we can move on. Minimize death as long as it others. <laughs> Dead. Uh, rude? Why do you do that? Dude! Do you want me to end you? Like, how am I supposed to read this here, friend? He is being insistent. That is, uh, I don't think I've ever seen that. One more. If he doesn't move away from me this time, I won't have, I don't think I have a choice. I think this pair of soldiers met a monk on the road, knowing full well the crimes they have committed. They are asking, whoa, for, for salvation. And although the monk long resisted at some point he had to continue on his travels and relented see the monk was still in training and isn't fully fledged in it but at the same time because see my reward here is another extremely valuable piece which i shouldn't complain this is the tower it has a unique little time signature here by which i mean like as a unique little graphic and it is the only level in all of Mario 3, that you can re-enter as much as you want, and that if you're playing two players, both players have to beat to, to progress. Well, strictly speaking, if one player beats the world and the other player son hasn't beaten this level, both players move on. Oh, this is a... Uh-oh. Uh I think that's doable, but... Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah, I knew there were other hopping guy. Don't hop at me, please! Uh, Alright, so that was, like, it's a scary jump, but it's a very doable jump. I'm slowly, steadily gaining confidence in my ability to play Mario 3. This room, when I was a kid, a source of infinite mystery. Why this empty room? Does these orb hanging on ropes mean anything? I mean, they're just supposed to be lamps, but like, why? And 
a thousand mysteries go and know where we're born. All right, I just need to aim very carefully here. Thank you. Now I need to place myself very carefully. Thank you. Got these sweet, like, cloud graphics. You can't jump off of a vine, apparently. And this is how the level ends? It's super weird. And boy, are the skies crowded.